I know we are all tired. <laughs> so I, <laughs> exactly. And I promise to be very short. <laughs> now it's eight slides. <laughs> So um, yeah, I'm here also to present um, a Copernicus update for downstream coastal services, um, exactly for the MSFD uh, um, eutrophication uh, project. It's very similar to what Yolanda is, um, has presented, so I'm going to be double fast. So um, this, is, um, this is actually um, uh, who we are. Deltaris is an independent uh, institute for applied research in the field of water and, and subsurface um, with the uh, five areas of expertise. Uh, we work with flood risk, we work with uh, delta infrastructure, and we work with healthy uh, ecosystems, and also um, urban areas. So those are the areas for that we are active uh, within Deltaris. We are a company of 850 non-for-profit, and we advise our government and the NGOs on uh, on monitoring, for example, and also other uh, type of uh, sustainable life in the Delta. So this is uh, what we do. And uh, the project that I'm presenting is, um, is very much uh, in line with what Yolanda was uh, uh, saying. So uh, the MSFD would like to achieve uh, the good environmental status. Uh, the plans of MSFD is that we are that they are going to be using uh, the monitoring and uh, the earth observation, and they would like to achieve harmonization across countries uh, within the region. So if um, Yolanda was presenting uh, the Spanish uh, uh, type, we are I'm presenting here the Dutch uh, the Dutch side of it. So um, the Dutch side of it is that we are also um, uh, concentrating on the eutrophication part because it's very much related to the biodiversity and the conservation laws. Um, so um, eutrophication is the excess amount of nutrients that is being coming from the rivers and then you have uh, an excess uh, overgrowth of uh, algae and, uh, and then you have a depletion. And this depletion of oxygen can result in uh, fish kill and, and also a loss of biodiversity. And that's why we are interested in quantifying this eutrophication. Um, so far in the MSFD, they are, they are working with, uh, with some kind of boxes. And then uh, they have areas which is uh, good, bad, and, and reasonable. And uh, what we are proposing is to use all kinds of other indicators that give uh, extra information on, on risk, uh, hazards and risks, uh, and very much related also to the ecosystem services at hand. Um, on the right, or how can I use this? Yes. So on this side, we, we decided to, to start with the chlorophyll, uh, actually a chlorophyll A, as an indicator, one of the indicators for the eutrophication uh, processes in the North Sea. And, uh, and then uh, you say, yeah, it, they are working also on the ISIS boxes. And then we say, OK, well, if we have a couple of those indicators or actually a couple of those information, how can we merge those information to get a better picture on uh, the possibility or the risk of eutrophication? Um, our approach is, is actually um, a little bit different because we started with the chlorophyll and then we have the CMMMs, um, the chlorophyll maps uh, and uh, the one from at least the MERS for the time being, but we are planning to have that for the Sentinel. Mm -hmm. And we have observed actually the huge differences and we started to, to understand why those differences because um, this is actually a very turbid water. And, and then uh, you have a different retrieval uh, process uh, than in, in the other uh, Copernicus uh, uh, models. So what we would like to do is how can we merge those things and blend them uh, with information on statistical information uh, from the blending and use that in, um, uh, on the CMM grid and use that for in an interactive web. So maybe we have to talk, Yolanda, <laughs> then not to duplicate work. Um, on an interactive web, and then uh, with a, this dynamic and a forecasting uh, possibility, and then we can use this piece of information for MSFD but to, to help them in reporting and help um, the Dutch government, which is Rijkswaterstaat, the, the Ministry of Environmental and Transport, also uh, to, to include in their 
uh, measurement strategy this piece of information. So we are heading for, for plenty of users at the same time, which is good, it's fine. Uh, so we are heading for the MSFD to, uh, to work with, uh, with the uh, product that we, that we have, but also to help our government um, define their measurement strategy accordingly to help validate our uh, service and to help them monitor better the eutrophication in our waters. Um, how do we use uh, the products of Copernicus? Uh, this is um, in our chain in, in different ways. So we have actually, uh, we have our monitoring network. This is related to, uh, to the Dutch government. And then we have existing database, uh, call it Emodnet, um, call it Eurogoose, and plenty of others uh, that are also, we extract the information from over there. And we have Copernicus um, as well as uh, Emodsat. We have a satellite, satellite receivers uh, within Deltares that uh, brings uh, near real-time data from Oemutsat and Sentinel-3 to come. Uh, we use this information, uh, we have a data processing chain, so then uh, we start looking at the data, we quantify the data, we update the data, and, and then uh, we fuse the data to have an operational system demonstration so we can have uh, services based only on data, or we add that into a modeling uh, suit. So this modeling is, um, so how can we add this, either through the validation or calibration or data assimilation types. Uh, and this is our forecasting system. Uh, this, this whole chain, it depends of course on which group of those people, so we have services, we have industry, policy makers, and general public. Of course, we, we provide also the services for free at the end of the line after we have set it up. Uh, also for business, uh, small small enterprise, that they can take it up and provide services for uh, down the line also end users. Um, so how did, the, did it actually help us or what was the benefits, help Deltaris in, in its work? Um, our Deltaris logo or motive or it is there to chair to share, to share information, to share data, to share services, to share everything that we produce. Uh, we are non-for-profit, so we share things. Uh, so it ha helped us, sorry, it helped us in uh, providing actually information services uh, in our uh, processing chains. On a national level, we cooperate much more uh, with our government and having also our mission from the government that we should be responsible on advising them on, on several issues. So it helped us uh, strengthen this cooperation. On a regional uh, level, as I just said, MSFD is trying to uh, harmonize all of the activities around uh, the regions and, and we are uh, participating as the Dutch partners uh, together with our government. And on international level, uh, we are also uh, trying to use all of those uh, remote sensing, not only uh, around Europe and in the Mediterranean, but we also have uh, other uh, branches in Singapore and Hong Kong and uh, in North Africa. So uh, the conditions of the use of whatever we, we have within Deltares is really free. Uh, software is free. Uh, the data is over there. Um, uh, everyone can download whatever, and we keep, of course, track of just the logs, not, not personal data. We do not have any personal data of people downloading that. We offer help and, for, and maintenance if required. The conclusion, um, um, well, let me put it that way, uh, the, benefits, uh, the benefits that we have is that uh, CMMs help us uh, continue providing what we are providing and continue being what we are as a non-for-profit institute and an intermediate user, I would say. Um, uh, the barriers is that um, we, we have to um, look at the differences because, well, I mean, the whole couple of days I have been hearing about merging, combining, um, um, combining data, but we have to be very careful when we are doing that, and, and this is, we have to find this in, in our minds that this is a barrier. We have to understand each source, what is the capability of each source, and what is the time scale that it matches or monitors. 
and the spatial scale. What does it mean to be able to really combine these pieces of pieces of puzzle to get a better picture? And, and I hope that we are trying to do one step towards this in combining the data in such a way that we get information and not redundancy and not contradictory data. So um, this barrier is not really from, from any place, but we have to put this barrier into ourselves when we are thinking and doing those things. Um, yeah, I, I can spend like 10, 10 more minutes on success elements, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> uh, so yes, uh, we are uh, reaching out, and I think uh, uh, people start to understand the use of, of remote sensing in general and, and Copern the use of Copernicus. And they are not afraid, ah, it's too difficult, uh, ah, no, I'm not going to be including that in my processing chain. So I think that we have achieved uh, and CMMs have achieved a, a quite an advancement in this area. And the improvement, um, we have received, of course, help, and, and, uh, and the help desk was very uh, supportive, uh, and the improvement, again, and I guess I'm not the only one, we need error products, but not only an error bar, and not only a standard deviation, uh, we need information, much more than just an error bar. We cannot merge the data unless we know what type of uncertainty, what type of error, what type of flags associated with each piece of information. Uh, without this, we cannot do that. So please help us. Thank you. Other questions? Uh, yes, <laughs> <laughs> I'm running for coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only one. Just to meet you. Yeah, only on data. Sorry? Only on data if it is historical time series. If we are talking about forecasting, then I have to include them up. Okay, so the results depends the output for the service or for the users depends on what question is it posed by the user itself. It is the whole chain. It is actually hydrodynamic, the tides, the waves, hydrodynamic, coupled to biogeochemical models. This is a chain of uh, model. Because you said that you, what you are using is uh, done directly, it's a proactive based at your data. Yeah. Or you can use also the model data from the um, Well, because we are talking about regional, so then, yes.